No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boys, too. Weekend observations brought to you by Miller Lite. 96 calories available for delivery. Dan, of the four, it's the one the players care about the least. It might be the one the fans care about the least. But for me, I only get four of these per year in a sport that I love. These are like Super Bowls to me, especially when you consider it's a loaded field playing on a legendary course. And Dan, just like that, sneaking in, out of nowhere, make no mistake about it, the PGA Championship Week is back. Big week, huh? Is it? Oak Hill. (laughs) It's a big one, Dano. I feel like there's a lot of other stuff going on. Locally, yes. And nationally. Yeah, perhaps, but that's the deal with the PGA. Yeah. Locally, yes. Oakley, no. Hey-o! Dan, guess what I got Abby for Mother's Day? The gift of no sex? I got her no sex again. It's a great gift. It's an annual. It's, it's an annual. It's gift an annual. A tradition like none other. <laughs> I gave her uh, an even better gift this Mother's Day. Not only no sex, I wasn't even around the entire day. I was in a different state. <laughs> she loved it. She just doesn't love me. Ja Morant, I guess you can have a gun, and you can most certainly have a phone. Let me make it simple for you. Just don't combine the two. Remember when I told Dan that Jason Tatum would be the next Kevin Durant and Dan laughed me out of the room and told me I was wrong? Are you right? It was a glorious time. Are you right? I'm closer to right than being wrong. Mike uh, texted me five quarters ago. Jason Tatum sucks. Five quarters ago. (laughs) He was right then. At the time. Got your back, buddy. Dan, either they're not making XLs like they used to, or I may be gaining some weight. You're so right, Stu. I was talking to Billy about it. They stopped making larges that fit large. Now They're now fitting like mediums. Now the XLs fit like, fit like larges. Yeah. Sizes change. I don't true. know about that, buddies. What do you mean? We're Francis. definitely getting bigger. But the XLs might be getting smaller. I mean, it could be that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I bought a double XL the other day. Put it on the poll, Juju at Lebitard Show. Are extra larges getting smaller or is Stugat's getting fatter? <laughs> Was surprised to get to the budget rental car in Chicago over the weekend. Walked to my parking space only to learn my wife rented me a flatbed Chevy pickup truck. I called my wife and asked her, if she thought I was coming up here to go hunting in Wisconsin, the Badger State. By the way, I've never felt more manly than sitting behind the wheel of a flatbed pickup truck. When I sat in the truck, I immediately felt like I had truck testicles in my pants. (laughs) The truck came with the standard options of insurance, tolls, and a gun rack. Dan, we are just eight wins away from a parade down Oakland Park Boulevard that circles around Commercial Boulevard, past the quarter deck and Edmore Chevrolet, down the Pat Salerno Drive, and finishes up at the Rainforest Cafe at the Sawgrass Mills Mall. Oh, wow. The Q Deck. I cannot wait for that to be live streamed in Canada. Ed Morse, of course. Canada's going to be so confused. I mean, Pat Salerno Drive is going to be hopping. (laughs) I don't think that there's anything that Canada would ever have been hurt by more than the Panthers championship celebration through South Florida. It's a Broward County team, Dano. We're going through sunrise, man. (laughs) <laughs> the cup comes through sunrise. It's a sad area. That sawgrass ford has it's, been living out there it's forever. Ju- it's just swampland. <laughs> it's one of the strangest things. Where it exists, 
Like, if there were alligators in the parking lot, it would surprise no one. It's marshland. <laughs> Congratulations to the Arlington Renegades for pulling off one of the biggest upsets in the history of sports and certainly the biggest in XFL history. The and hockey arena, Stugatz, I'm not making this up, is built to sink into the earth because it's built on marshland. <laughs> it is built in a way that allows it to sink because it's not safe land. That's Canada is going to lose its cup to that. The gangs tell you that? <laughs> Headline. Mike McCarthy sideline for uh, from back procedure. I have a question. Sideline from what? Like, what was he doing that he can no longer do, Mike McCarthy? What is he sideline from? Isn't Standing foot, there? Isn't football all year long now? I mean, there's, uh, they got mini camps. What is he sideline from? I want to know. I'm guessing that he's probably. You don't think Mike McCarthy's going in still 20 hours a day to no, sit around? <laughs> Mike McCarthy? <laughs> 20 hours a day. You think everyone's got the job you do? <laughs> Just do what Jerry Jones tells you to do. <laughs> it's a puppet. Anyway, where was it? When asked if the Lions reached for him in the draft, Jameer Gibbs said, I don't care. You know what that is, Dan? I do not. It's a little something I like to call May. Also appearing in this week's edition of May, Lions quarterback Hendon Hooker is working on mental reps. LeBron was right. These have been the most important games of his life. Kevin Durant, what could have been? Chris Paul, always something, but never a ring. Cantavius Caldwell Pope, always seems to be sniffing around the Larry O'Brien trophy. KCP. Doesn't he? He's always Has there. Has he ever won one? Yeah. He had a big shot in the bubble, didn't he? He's always there. Airports are the saddest place to smoke. Dan, over the weekend, I was walking down an alley and lit a heater. A Chinese guy came out of the back door of a restaurant into the alley, and he too lit a heater we locked eyes i nodded at him he nodded at me it was the saddest moment of my life saddest i yeah. would have thought that it would have been uh, unity that you were uh... lock eyes nodding of the head of two smokers is a very in an alley is a very but, sad moment but united on uh killing yourself one cigarette at a time uh speaks across the gulf of language differences and cultural there differences be a bond. That you are more unified than our country is at the moment because yeah. you are sad heater smokers. Yeah. Top five saddest moments of my life. KCP was on the Wizards last year. Uh, wasn't sniffing around the trophy there, that's for sure. But every other year, he's been sniffing around that trophy. Top five saddest moments of my life. Number five, when the Pistons walked off the court without shaking Michael Jordan's hand. <laughs> Number four. The first time Michael retired. Number three, the second time Michael retired. Number two, the third time Michael retired. And number one, the alley. Number one. Here come the D-backs. Number one. The alley. Damn. It's a sad moment. I figure you've had a lot of those, right? Haven't you had a lot in alleys? A lot of heaters in an alley? I mean, I'm I'm confused by everything that surrounds your heater smoking. So am I. Because recently you didn't want to be in the music video smoking a heater, but you come in here all the time smelling like heaters. So, like, who are you hiding it from? My kids. I walked into work today and he was smoking one in the parking garage. Yeah, so that was. can't be safe. Oh, uh, that's the he best was right heater. next to me talking to yeah. me. Not a sad heater. Yeah. You also drive your daughter's car, so when she comes back from college, she's going to smell it. No heaters in the car. It's a rule. It's why I have so many in the garage. Well, you're not supposed to be smoking there either. Uh. Where can a man smoke? <laughs> An alley? <laughs> it's the only safe space you have anymore. Is <laughs> the sad alley. <laughs> where you can be a free man. <laughs> Do 
whatever I want. Smoke away no in the sad alley. <laughs> oh, man. If you think you've seen the last of renegade running back Letty Brown, I got news for you. No, really? You have it. Sundays. Dan, you know what? Six points plus 10 rebounds plus three assists plus two steals plus three blocks plus a plus minus a plus 24 and incredible lockdown defense of the league MVP equals playoff foul. It equals what it takes to win championships. Five Al Horford. Oh, is he good? Joel Embiid, congratulations. You're the only MVP to never make it to a conference final. Therefore, I am taking the MVP away from you. Oh, no. I am. Oh, no. I am taking it away from Joel Embiid. In your personal record book. And I'm handing it to someone. Jimmy Butler. Whoa. How about that? Whoa. He lifer. Jason Tatum, the rare 50 burger with a side of the entire city of Philadelphia. Dan, you know what the C and Chris Paul and the K and Kevin Durant stand for? Choke. Coach killer. You can now put Bob Stoops on the short list of coaches who have won a championship at the college level and professional level. <laughs> Stoopsy. I believe there's another side of Bob Stoops that we don't know about. Big, I'm not certain we want to know about it. Big game, Bob? Yeah, just the beard, the whole thing. I mean, there is a, <laughs> there is a side of Stoopsy. A dirty side. Wait, what? A bad side. I'm what? just telling you. He know what he did. You don't want to know about it, Dan. Trust me. The Knicks should trade Julius Randle for Jordan Poole. The Bucks should hire Monty Williams. The Suns should hire Doc Rivers. The Sixers should hire Charles Barkley. That's a good idea. Let him be the head coach. You don't like it? Chuck? Round mound of rebound? Just a heads up. I'd make sure the kids are asleep by 7.59 p.m. Eastern tonight. Uh-oh. Is the it really? The Kraken and Stars game Hold seven on. starts at eight. Put the kids away. Put the kids to sleep. Oh, uh, make sure they're sleeping by, by eight. Yeah. And do not piss the stars off. <laughs> You've been saying that for years. A tip of the cap to Doyle Brunson. May he rest in peace. Draymond Green said it wasn't a championship roster. He's right. The Warriors just aren't the same without Otto Porter Jr. Very few people, if any, reset a radio show like Freddie Coleman. The GOAT. <laughs> the greatest of all time. <laughs> He's right about that, Dan. <laughs> he resets it four times a segment. <laughs> How the hell does an NBA MVP go four minutes without touching a basketball? Speaking of hell, Art Bryles, Dan, those are the weekend observations.